Hi Bruce from Safari and it's a shout out to cat owners. This is a Leopard 44, I love the name, two dogs. And uh, we're just gonna show you we completely electrified or turned the kitchen into a total electric kitchen on this cat. And I'm just gonna step through exactly what we've done on it. And uh, we've actually got two Scotties on this and we will actually start the engine. So I'm gonna start right at the back here in the engine bay. So the first thing we did on these Yanmars was replace the Yanmar alternator uh, for a 250 amp alternator we installed uh, a scotty on either side to pull the power out and we're getting incredible power um, out of these alternators that we're going to show you in a minute when we start up but let's walk inside and this catamaran had this uh, all too familiar gas oven and uh, and cooktop and the uh, the big white box here the magnesine magnum uh, inverter and just look at this uh, change that we've got here now so uh, top is replaced, uh, double induction, our Safari double induction on the top. And then this is one we recommend, this is a Breville Combi 3. So this is a microwave, it's a air fryer and a convection oven all in one. Uh, there it is there, quite a good side. There are the controls on the side here, all automatic. And so that's all fitted in that space. The drawer's been added to it as well in here. So that's all been fitted and uh, uh, really made quite a lot of utility there. Now, let's have a look at what else that we did. So we'll just have a look at the display and explain a couple of things. So on the solar here, it's a shocking day here in Queensland. We've got our uh, fourth week of rain. Um, so we've got up here 1300 watts of solar uh, and uh, that's running into a new 6000 that we're gonna look at in a minute, uh, uh, Victron uh, Multi RS. And then we've got uh, on board here six uh, of uh, 12 volt equivalent, 200 amp hours, so 1200 altogether in uh, uh, watt hours, it's uh, 14,400 watt hours of uh, lithium. And then we've got a 6,000 inverter charger, AC charger and an inverter uh, that's in there. And let's go and have a look at where we put those. We wanted to move as much weight as we could to the bow. And so the batteries are installed uh, underneath the bed here in the bow. I'll just show you one of them there. There they are. You can just see them under there. And then we're going through the Lynx distributor over here. All the batteries coming up, all the isolation there. And then we're running back into a locker here uh, where the um, inverter charger is. So uh, the inverter charger is tucked into here. It's only 125 deep. So we were able to get that in there, the full 6,000. And then we're using another um, Lynx distributor in there. It's a little bit dark, I know. Um, and this unit here is incredible. So this is the 6,000, it takes the solar in and it adds to the inverter uh, power, whatever is coming in off the solar. So it's actually 6,000 VA plus the solar coming in. And so uh, Stuart on this boat will be able to run the induction, the microwave and the um, uh, hot water um, all at the same time, probably even pop the toaster on as well. Uh, one feature that we add to for nearly every customer here are the temp sensors. So you see here we've got the freezer and the fridge in here. And uh, here we are here, the frigo drawer. That's the puck down there, the white one. This closes, it's Bluetooth. So that means not only is it visible here, but it's visible on Stuart's smartphone, wherever he is. So I've just popped these in. So they're just starting to drop temperature now. They give you the humidity as well. Um, and uh, so you'll be able to get six months history on the uh, cloud uh, connection that we go to, to see uh, what those temperatures are. And they're reporting at two and a half uh, second intervals. So you get a fantastic history of uh, uh, freezer temperature for a long-term storage of food. Now we'll fire up now and just have a look at the, uh, what Scotty's putting in so that those people not familiar with this will see the huge amount of power that we pull in. So now we've started the engines and uh, we're probably running around about uh, 1,000 revs and we're putting out of both of them 4285. This will go up to uh, 5,000 with higher revs, but uh, I think that's sufficient for the demonstration here. So 4,000 going in, the batteries are 14. So the engines here will fully charge uh, these batteries in about uh, three hours, probably a bit less than three hours. Um, uh, and it's that replenishment power that allows us to run um, the all-electric uh, kitchen here and virtually all-electric boat. There's no gen set on this boat whatsoever. Uh, thank you, and I've got to say, how good's that?